The Andrews government has made a $750 million election promise to deliver trains every 10 minutes on the Cranbourne line. It came as trains returned to Mernda for the first time in almost 60 years today. The new rail extension giving commuters in the outer north almost 1,000 weekly services to the city. Jade Vincent has the details. For a double term, Cranbourne could be rewarded with double the train services. A re-elected Labor government will fully duplicate the line between Dandenong and Cranbourne, allowing services to be run every 10 minutes. The Premier promising $750 million to upgrade the eight kilometres of track along the bursting southeast. This is the, the longest section of single track on Melbourne's metropolitan network. And the problem is with the single track, it causes congestion, it causes delays. Constru Construction would begin in 2021 to be completed by 2023. It's been moderately reliable for me. I go to uni on the train a lot, so there's been a lot of days where it's been delayed. I think it's fine for now, but if they were going to update it, I'd be, it'd be better. The government is also setting aside $7 million to plan for an extension to Clyde. The Liberals previously announced a Clyde rail link costing $487 million. Look, this is just a half-baked approach from Labor. Other promises have been made. They make no sense at all. They're underdone and they really are a con. After almost six decades, at 3.30 this morning, the first train collected commuters from Mernda Station. <laughs> providing passengers in the outer north with almost a 1,000 services to the city each week from three brand new stations. Tickets and platforms look a little different since the last time they boarded in Mernda in 1959. Locals who fought hard for this railway are taking the credit. The politicians told us it would never happen and it was only because the community stood up and said no, we won't take that, that the Mernda railway line is here today. Up to 8,000 passengers are expected to use the new rail extension every day and as developed Development continues in the area. Locals say a further station could be required along the growth boundary. The train is still going. Get on the new train to the shops. Jade Vincent, Nine News.